everybody, and this is Daniel. But today, I will be telling some stories. Scary, mysterious stories. Now, in my class, I'm known for a lot of things. Weird, annoying, uh, awesome. Uh, I'm known for a lot of things. Oh, yeah. Weird, annoying, um, friendly, loyal, trustworthy, maybe, honest, sometimes, and telling awesome, awesome, awesome stories and jokes. But we'll get to that later. Just push that aside. So, if you don't like scary things, Move on, because this is not a video for you. This is not your cup of tea. <laughs> I don't know what I'm about. So yeah, I'm going to tell three, two, one, three, three, two, three, three scary stories. And then, you and the commenters, if you want, type which one was your favorite, and then... Do something that I don't know yet, but I'll make it up as I go, okay? Yeah! So I'm gonna tell three scary stories. Oh, no, no, no. Um, okay. I'm gonna tell three scary stories, and then after those three scary stories, I'm gonna say three more names of the scary stories. You vote what was your favorite scary story, and which one you want me to do next. Okay! So, here are the names. The Frozen Boy. Sorry if you've already heard this story. Oh, well. Molly. Um. Uh, red Eyes. Room 13. It's four. I need two more. Vindal Viper, but that's kind of... It's not really... You'll see it later. You'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean. And, um... Another scary story. I don't remember its name. Okay, so I'm going to tell Molly. I'm going to tell 13, room 13, and red eyes. Okay. So, <clears throat> begin the voice. Once upon a time in a faraway land. Not really. It's kind of in Virginia. Oh, and, um, Hitchhiker. I'm going to do Hitchhiker, room 13. And Molly. Okay. So. There was this toy shop. Now you've probably heard this one before. And. There was a little girl. And a dad. And, there, and um, they were at the store. Like getting groceries and stuff. And then the little girl spotted a doll. A doll. A doll aisle, an aisle of dolls. And then he's like, she's like, Daddy, Daddy, can we buy it? I have horrible girl voices. He's like, okay, but remember, we have a bedtime policy. Yeah, I know. I have horrible voices. Whatever. Anyway, so they grab the doll, and the clerk's like, you don't want to have one. And, the dad, and then the little kid is like, yeah, you. He saw, she, I don't know, I don't know what you call a doll. Anyway, so yeah. And, um, he's like, no, you don't. That doll's been returned. Fuck, um. Oh, and I forgot to mention. The doll has a peace sign. Like that. That doll's been returned. That doll has caused injuries and accidents. I don't care, I want it. Come on, daddy. So, 
I go down. And oh. then she's playing with it. I'm doing a scary story! Stupid. You just ended it. Call me. So. Then. Oh, so yeah, they go home. And um, she's playing with it. Do, 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 playing with it. She looks at the time. It's 8.30. This is pretty early bedtime for not school. But whatever. It's 8.30, and she goes back to bed. Then, she goes back to bed, or bed, and she's laying in her bed, thinking about the doll. So, when she's sure her parents are asleep, she sneaks down, like, you know, a house. So she sneaks down the stairs, but more like, then, she goes out, Grabs a doll and plays with it. She's playing with it. She's like, my my parents won't find out. It's okay. I'll go to bed. I'll go to bed. I'll, I'll go to bed at 12.30. So she's playing with it. She's playing with it. Then she looks at the clock. She says, wow, a lot of time. Jeepers. I'm just kidding. Wow, a lot of time has gone past. Then she looks at the clock. It says 12. She says, I still have 30 minutes. I, she keeps playing with it. She looks at the clock again. 12.45. Then she, then, the doll's eyes glow red. And she, and she gets creeped out. So she runs down her basement, um, uh, does the safe, puts the doll in the safe, locks it, locks the door to the basement, r um, runs up to the kitchen, uh, not, sorry, runs up to her room and locks the door. Then she hears, Molly, I'm opening the safe. Molly, I'm opening the door. Molly, I'm climbing up the stairs. And she hears. <coughs> then, Molly, I'm opening your door. Then she looks at the door. There's no one there. Then the lights flicker on. Then she says, Molly, I'm gonna kick. Last thing she hears. The dad hears a scream. The dad hears a scream. He runs his back. The doll has three fingers. It wasn't a peace sign. It was victims. Three victims. So that was Molly. Okay, room 13. So, there's this guy, and he's driving in his car, his awesome car. His car breaks down, and he's right next to a motel. A hotel, sorry. And he asked the thing, he, um, and he says, um, I need a room, my car just broke down. He said, oh, okay, you can start for the night. Here's room 14. 14. So, he says, oh, uh, you're lucky. We only have one more door open. 14. So, he goes in, he checks it out. It's nice. He goes to bed. Then he wakes up. But then... He notices no one's in 13. Well, then he notices 13, the room 13 across from him. It's 13. And um, he looks at the door, and all he sees is whiteness. And he asks the clerk about it. He says, uh, sorry, not clerk. Bellboy, dude. He asked the manager about it. Sorry, there, there we go. Manager. He asked the manager about it, and he says, "Oh yeah, that was um, that's the wedding suite." Um, oh, and uh, he says, "Oh, but there's no one in there. All I saw was whiteness." And then he said, "No, there was a girl. There was a girl. Then there was a girl who hung herself." So, he's like, yeah, right. So, he goes over to the door again. Knocks. Then, he checks through the hole. And he sees red. Then, he's driving in his car. 
A tree comes out of nowhere and he smashes into it, dies. You wanna know what that whiteness was? The back. You know a w wedding gown? It's white. Then it turned around. Blood red face. That's what was happening. So, when he looked into the door the second time, he all he saw was redness. Because that was her. Dead. Well, that's room 13. Then, um, what did I say? Oh, yeah, the hitchhiker. This is a good one. So, literally, I'm not making this up. So, there's a trucker guy. His name is Daniel. I am not making this up. And his mom, and he's going to this, um, camp thing. And his mom is like, m m yeah, make sure to be careful. He's like, yeah, I know. I'll be careful. Um, uh, yeah, I'll be careful. It, and she says, yeah, now remember, that, that street is very dangerous. And he says, yeah, I know. I'll be careful. So he's driving. He's driving. He's like, I'm driving in his car. And then he sees a man. He immediately hits the brakes and goes, the man is standing right in front of it. Then, he, he gets out to make sure he's okay. But, the guy is gone. So he's like, Ugh. these are just hallucinations. So he drinks water, because he thinks it's a mirage. And drinks water, sets it down, keeps on driving. Then, he looks out the, win he looks out the window, and there's the same guy running. The speed of the car. So he's like, I'll, I'll get, I'll get a witness. That way they won't think I'm insane. So she picks up this uh, girl hitchhiker, and she has a finger like this, like you know, that. And so he's like, okay. So then they're driving, and he says, "Do you see that guy at the window?" And she's like, "Who?" He's like, and then he says, "The guy out the window. He's running the f speed of the car." And she's, and she says, "Okay, you're." You're losing it. I'm getting out. She gets out. He continues driving. He goes to the gas station. To get up gas. There's the same guy behind him. So he says, <sighs> So he's going to call his mom. So he rushes up to the phone. Boop, 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 boop. Bring, bring. Come on, come on. Pick up, pick up. Bring. Hello? Um... Hello, who is this? So, then the um, phone answers, and the person says, Hello, who is this? He says, uh, My name is Daniel. Uh, can I see Miss Brown? Let's ca call it that. Whatever. Miss Brown. Oh, um, she's she's in the hospital. She had a heart attack when she found out of her son's death. He says, but... What? So, he puts the phone down. Then he's driving again. Then he's driving. And then there's the guy in front of him. He says, no, oh, no, you don't. So he rushes into him. Then the car crashes. Now this is what really happened. He was driving along. The hitchhiker is death. He was trying to outrun death. So what really happened is he, um... He stopped, like he saw the guy, he stopped, the huge truck went, hit this tree, he passed out, and died. And then the mom heard about that, had a heart attack, so, technically, he is already dead, but death is the guy. And he's trying to outrun death, but he can't. Those are the three stories. If you liked it, good job. So, um... Now, there's still three more. There's, um, Frozen Boy, Red Eyes, and Vindel Viper. Tell me which one was your favorite out of these series stories, and which one you want to hear. This is Pucket Bros, signing off.